man. Shalom, brothers. All right. Give all praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Kakadash. And it's just a brief, uh, you know, brief update on the current cost of living situation everybody dealing with, you know. And I just uh, left the, the grocery store, all right. Man, just like one of the brothers that posted, man, these uh, fruits, these lemons and oranges, all right. They starting to sell these deals for a dollar now, man. A dollar, a dollar of orange, okay. For a dollar and some change for an orange, okay and uh you know i just got some lemons you know and they was selling the lemons for two lemons for a dollar you know two lemons for a dollar man but this is just a brief this is just a foreshadowing of what's to come okay these food shortages and shit that these damn elites have um strategically you know set in place man this shit's about this shit's in home now you know this shit's in home now man like when you look at these third world countries, all right, their their, their ability to get, um, you know, goods and resources like these first world countries, okay, they're not able to get them as easy, man. So what happens is they get thrown into civil unrest and, and, and uh, you know, chaos before we do, okay? You look at Sri Lanka and Peru, Venezuela, Asia, African countries. Yeah, man, you look at them right now, they going through it. The gas, the food. Okay, I ran, right? But this shit's in home, man. This shit's in home. You see, because I was at the gas station, what, yesterday? Okay, I was going to get some gas, man. And I pulled up to like a Phillips, all right? And it was bags over every single last one of the gas pumps. Okay, and the lady was like, no, like we don't have no gas. And I was like, all right, you bet. So I went to Quick Trip to get some gas. And it was like every other pump, okay? Every other pump was out of gas, man. So yeah, Revelation 6 and 6, man. This shit is in home, okay? This shit is in home, man, okay? Dealing with this cost of living crisis, okay? It's about to turn Babylon the Great into a third world country, man. And this shit's happening, okay? So they plan on doing, man, is rationing this food and these resources, like, you know, pretty much what they're doing in Iran and uh, Sri Lanka. And they're going to set up that digital, uh, uh, that digital structure to where, you know, if you want to get subsidized goods, you're going to have to enroll in their, you know, digital food rationing, uh, scheme. Okay. And you can see that you can see how that's, that's, uh, that's manifesting, man. It's manifesting. Okay. Cause ain't nothing getting better. You got these farmers always talking about the, how all the fertilizer and the shit's going up. So if they got to raise their prices, um, or if the prices are getting raised on them, they're going to have to raise their prices. And it's going to affect us, man. You see? The truckers, the diesel fuel, and all these things, man. People thought that we caught, we caught a gas break. <laughs> you know, people thought we caught a gas break, man. But guess what? Why the hell are we going to these pumps and the pumps are out of fucking gas? You know? Just because, what, gas is down to like 350, 50-something now? You know, where I'm at at least. Okay, yeah, gas is down to like three dollars and fifty cent now. But why the hell when I go to certain gas pumps, man, they ain't got no gas? Okay, cause these shortages are real, man. This shit's real. Okay, and they try to get people a little break to try to essentially uh, get people to get back docile and uh, to be okay with things the way they are. What do they do? Give you a little food. As long as people got food and alcohol and games you know, to, 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 to distract them, you know, from what's really going on. People are be, they'll be complacent as shit, man. But guess what? You ain't about to be able to ignore this shit, man. Cause this shit getting snatched from you. Yeah. What you going to do when well, you ain't got no food. Okay. Second, there's six and 22. You go to the grocery store and the shit's fucking empty. And if there is shit before it goes empty, it's going to be insanely uh, high priced that you ain't gonna be able to afford it. Gas, okay, gas shortages, them bitches real, man. Let's go to these gas pumps, okay, and they running out of gas. They putting a bag over the gas pump, man. And this is beautiful. Okay, this this is beautiful, man, because this shit's hitting this place. And what are people gonna do when they ain't got the food? When people can't eat, go to these fast food joints and shit, okay, because they all running out of food and, and supplies, okay, why they pushing that they push that uh impossible burgers and all that shit man 
Because they are the fool, man. They strategically uh, are burning up the West Coast with that with the um, that do technology. Ukraine, all these wildfires. Every single one of these countries are under siege. Okay. Not being able to get resources coming in. So when the plug is pulled, you see, when the plug is pulled, man, people ain't got food. They ain't able to get alcohol because we know we're in a wheat shortage. And most a lot of alcohol, you know, is made from wheat. People not able to get alcohol, not able to get uh, food. People going to lose their fucking minds, man. These people are ready to lose it. These people are already ready to lose it, man. Now, <laughs> you know, that's why that uh, uh, Claw Swab said prepare for an angrier world. The CEO of the World Economic Forum, man, said prepare for an angry world. But we know scriptures, you know, prophesied that before Yahweh shot himself. Because the love of uh because of iniquity would amount abound, the love of many will wax cold, man. So because of the burdens people are having to deal with, you about to start seeing a lot more crazy shit on the news, man. Breaking people breaking and entering. Motherfuckers stealing shit that they wouldn't have never stole a year ago, two years ago. Okay, because people desperate, man. Desperate times, desperate measures. Okay. So, you know, let these be a warning, man. Okay. Cause just cause shit might look halfway decent one day, okay, that don't mean that's the true condition of how things really are. All right. Just because you were able to go to the grocery store and it looks like your shell your shelves are relatively stocked, okay? And it don't mean somebody two towns over is dealing with the same shit you're dealing with, man. Of course, if you're in a major city. Yeah, your shit's going to be more stock than one of these smaller towns, man. You know, because I got to drive a lot for my job. And I go to a lot of, you know, different towns and shit. Okay? A lot of these towns, man, they ain't even got shit. Especially when you go into the gas stations. Shit be bare as hell. And that's another thing, man. Going to the Quick Trip. Them, uh, you know, those little rollers they had. Run up on the price on them bitches. Okay? Everything is going up in price, man. Everything. Even shit that, you know, um, like that you even don't even buy that much is going up in price, man. Everything. Okay. But your check, your paycheck you bring it home is not going up. More people are, are, are quitting their jobs. More people are not working because it's prophesied to be like that, man. There should be no work for Egypt. Okay. In Ecclesiastes 12, the, the grinders ceasing because they are few. The same time we dealing with uh, the cost of living burdens, man. So these burdens in and of themselves is about to make people lose their fucking mind. Not to mention the civil the civil war, the division that they're, they they they've brought about, gender uh, division of the genders, the races, politically, socially. Not to mention World War Three. You got world you got war about, about to break out in um uh dealing with China and Taiwan, man. The same thing that Russia did to Ukraine, surrounding them, right? running those mock invasion drills, okay? It's the same thing China's doing to Taiwan, man. They was pissed off for Pelosi going over there, man, okay? So you got two fronts, man, and I, no, it's actually three because you, uh, you got the Russia-Ukraine deal, China-Taiwan. Oh, Israel, man. So you know Israel was, uh, I think they called a ceasefire now, but they were sending rockets back and forth to uh, Gaza again, man, sparking that shit up again, okay? Cause I'm also about to gather them nations, man, in the Middle East. You see, this thing's coming full circle, man. This deal's coming full circle. You see, people about to lose their fucking minds in America, Europe, <laughs> which Europe, okay? Them European countries, man, some of them are not trying to pay for gas and oil in the form of the ruble. So what's Russia doing? Constantly depleting the amount of oil going to these European countries, man. So what's that gonna lead to? Blackouts, no electricity, uh, 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 all those things, man. We're weeks to months away, man. And really, the most I could have this shit, any one given uh, scenario, a lights out scenario, they could do a fucking EMP attack, okay? And declare a national emergency. So you know they already declared the APOX a public health emergency. And they about to LD this place again, man. Okay, through the spirit, you know, brothers can see it, man. They about to LD this place again. Okay, while these people, what, out here partying every fucking night, going to the fucking club and the bars. Okay, 
doing the same shit they was doing during the days of Noah. Then a flood came and wiped their fucking asses out, man. Because the Most High is doing this deal like a thief in the night. You see, you can only be warned so much, man, till you don't even get warned no more. And that's the times that we in, man. But with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah. Shalom to the next one.